Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to be starting a new series on Sketch 3. Now, Sketch 3 is a really powerful, lightweight, professional design application, and this is what many people are hailing as a perfect alternative to the bloated, slow, old versions of uh, Illustrator or Photoshop, which are also extremely expensive. Uh, in fact, what's wonderful about Sketch 3 is that it's so useful, I have not opened uh, Photoshop or Illustrator since I've been using Sketch 2 and then now Sketch 3. In fact, I don't even have them installed on this computer because I like this app so much. And there's so many great modern features in Sketch 3 three that are not only just for web development but for all sorts of uh, design aspects um, that are just make it a really perfect package for the modern workflow. Basically you'll be able to accomplish more in Sketch 3 faster than you ever were in Photoshop or Illustrator. Now that said it is a young product and there are occasionally bugs here and there but Sketch 3 is pretty excellent so either download the free trial or buy it. It's not that expensive. In fact for what you're getting it's 79 bucks um, and if you compare that to Photoshop or whatever, I mean, it's not even close. So go ahead and download Sketch 3 and check it out. Uh, keep in mind, I have no affiliation uh, with Sketch 3. I have no affiliation with Bohemian Coding. I, I just like this application a lot. And I think that there needs to be more resources for people who want to learn the total features in controlling Sketch 3. So what are some of those features? Basically, uh, everything's like vectors, right? So working with vectors is really easy. And I have never been a huge fan of Illustrator myself just because uh, I started on Photoshop and then you moved to Illustrator and some of the, the commands weren't the same and things like that. But with Sketch, uh, the vector tools just seem perfect, right? They just seem nice and easy to work with and accomplish what you need them to accomplish. Now, keep in mind, I primarily use this for web design, but I do use it for other types of uh, creation as well. Now, you can have a folder structure, layout structure. You can see a little bit of the interface here. We're going to be going over more of the interface in the next video. Uh, it snaps to pixels. You have this pixel zoom feature where you can zoom in and you're going to be seeing the fine lines of a vector or you can uh, basically uh, convert the zoom to what it'd be like if it was a raster so you could look into what what it would look like if you were zooming in to the the pixels themselves uh, text rendering is great there are also is like text styles so you can set up text styles sort of like CSS and with that you can reuse these text styles throughout your project so no more adding a, a you know, a text style changing a text style and having to um, change it everywhere now, just like Photoshop, which you're useful, used to, there's also uh, blending modes and opacities. Uh, there's easy to add dimensions with this inspector. Um, there's tons and tons of tools, reusable elements, um, which are fantastic. Basically, you can create something once, reuse it, and have it be referenced throughout your project. Symbols, textiles, like I said, grids and grid tools. There's like web grids, there's grids, grids, there's all sorts of stuff like how many times have you maybe had to download a grid or a starter project for a website in Illustrator that has like guides set up to be a, a you know, a custom grid for whatever you're using. Well, Sketch has really awesome grid tools to build web grids. And there's also exporting. You can export your assets and your CSS styles. I don't really use this because I like to write my own CSS, but it exists. And before, because Sketch is for Mac, it takes advantage of the autosave features uh, that you'd be used to. And if you have an iOS device, which I don't, you can mirror your project on that device and see what it's going to be looking like and even have swipe to navigate and stuff like that. So check that out. Download Sketch 3 and in the next video we're going to get started. We're going to open it up and we're going to take a look at the interface and just play around with it. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook. Uh, pretty much anywhere. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.